the first program that I'm using. And of course I got it titled SRA Relic 1. And um, so here's the settings that I'm using on this Relic program. So if you go to menu, I'm using the discrimination at 6.8 and, and you can monitor and adjust. Now, if, if you're dealing with iron um, and you really want to get the best unmasking capability, you might want to lower this discrimination a little bit. Uh, you could lower it all the way down to 6.4 or 6.2. What I would suggest is not raising it up any higher though than this, um, because I, what I've seen is I think it takes away from some of the unmasking and my soil is very mild. So um, again, 6.8 is where I'm staying at and 6.8 is what I use. Now you can modify and adjust based on your ground and based on your soil. You guys can, can check that out. So if I go to my expert mode, which I'm going to click here, uh, I'm using pitch tones. Some people are using full tones and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Some people might use five tones, two tones, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I use pitch. Um, I think pitch gives me a good, a good feel for what that, what that target is. It's, it's got sort of a, um, a unique sound to it, uh, but I use pitch and um, it tends to work very, very well for me. And if we go through this, these other settings, I'm not using any bottle cap reject. Now I've seen a couple of programs. Um, my program is based off of fast. This is off of fast. Okay, I'm sorry, I should have said that. Thank you, thank you Prospectors Cash. Um, it's based off of fast, this first one. And I'm gonna show you one with sensitive full tones in just a minute, um, but that is based off of fast. I have seen some programs that they're adding a little bit of bottle cap reject and that's fine. But what I am going to tell you is the more you start inserting that bottle cap reject, basically people are trying to get rid of iron. And when you start adjusting that thing and start moving it up, sometimes it can mess with the unmasking capability of this machine. So just be aware of that. You can use it if it's really just driving you nuts. So, and you want to try to implement a little bit of it, then you can do that. But I would say, you know, if you can leave it on zero and it's not tearing you up too bad, then leave it on zero and keep going. Uh, I leave the notch standard at 23.24. You could notch off, and we've talked about this too. You could notch off all the way, you know, where you at notch up to 40. Uh, some people do that and it works really, really well. That's totally up to you when it comes to that. Silencer, I'm running at one because I want, again, I want the most unmasking capabilities that I can get. I think with the silencer at one, that gives me the best chance. Now, could you dig more iron? More than likely, yes, you are gonna dig a little more iron. I can deal with the iron as long as I'm finding stuff. So <laughs> I don't mind digging the iron. I like running my machine as open as I can. Don't tread on me metal detecting says I don't use silencer or filter. I want to hear it like the machine picks up. And I agree with you 100%. I mean, if you want, if you want to try to run the silencer all the way down, that's fine. Um, I like leaving the machine as open as I can. And um, I use pitch and I know Prospectors Cash was just asking me why pitch. Um, pitch is just what I've been used to for so long, Prospectors Cash. And that's what I've used. Well, even when I was using the Deus One, um, now, some people may revert to PWM on the audio side, but I'm using pitch and high square, and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate that so much. Um, yeah, don't tread on me. It says if you're not digging square nails, your machine is not working. Switching on the <laughs> there you go. And I like running the machine as open as I can. So again, I'm with don't tread on me metal detecting. Um, I like running it as open as I can. And uh, Dirt Devil Detecting says he runs his ground stabilizer at one. Not a bad idea. I would not run it up too high. Again, the more you can open up this machine, the better chances you're going to have of unmasking. So uh, again, my tones are pitch, which you guys can see. Uh, bottle caps are at zero and so on. So we've gone through those expert settings. My discrim is at 6.8. Uh, of course, I got the sensitivity turned down but because I'm inside. But 
when you're using your sensitivity, again, monitor and adjust to your soil and what you think naturally. Um, my frequency max is at 40 kilohertz. Uh, I have run it at 24. Um, you're going to dig a lot. You're going to dig a lot of small targets, though, with the frequency max set at 40. But if you want to run it to 24, then go for it. I don't think you'll hurt yourself running it at 24 as well. What do you think about the frequency max, Michael? I've been running mine at 24 uh, most of the time. Uh, 40, you're probably going to dig some smaller stuff with it. You know, and like you were talking about earlier, if you're on a site that um, that has some modern trash in it, it's not, you know, it's not going to hurt to run that notch up 35 or 40. I don't think it's going to, you know, because most of your um, relics are going are gonna to come up higher than that. That's just going to, you know, quiet the machine down so I mean, you won't be running over as much modern right. small pieces of foil and, and trash and stuff but yeah. and dirt devil um, detectant says he runs it at 24. i go back and forth on this but 24 i like 24 as well i so do you too. guys are definitely uh right uh, prospectors cash says it's 109 degrees today in in texas wow Man. wait that's way too hot for me michael what do you yeah. think you do in 109 degrees i don't know stay inside in the air conditioning <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I would be too, really. So uh, iron volume set at seven. Again, you can adjust this if the iron's driving you crazy. There's been some times too that I've run the iron volume all the way down to zero. But again, you can do it however you like. DC Diggins like me, I want to dig those small targets. I don't mind running it at 40. That's totally up to you. 24 and 40, I think, are, are excellent choices. Don't tread on me, he says, yep, 40 for me. Dwayne Cron says, I'm running a very similar setting on this fairly hot Virginia dirt. Don't forget to go back over the heavy iron spots with a notch of 40. Exactly. that, And I, I mentioned that in the beginning. You know, you can notch that thing up to 40 and above and go back into those sites, and it will clean up some of those targets. So, again, you've got, you've got all kind of choices. Iron volume at seven, you can choose to do with – with this is whatever you like, but the iron volume definitely, uh, you could run it all the way down if you don't want to hear the iron. I like hearing the iron, again, especially when I'm trying to locate a site, I'll run that iron volume up so I know that I'm in a, on a structure or on a very, very good site. So again, reactivity, I always start off at two and a half. If you get into a real thick, heavy pitch, um, heavy uh, patch of iron, then you might want to run the reactivity up a little bit higher. That's just me. You guys can choose whatever your site is dictating. That would be where I would go as well. Uh, Michael, what do you think about your reactivity? Most of the time, that's where I start out at 2.5. Um, you know, if it, if, it, if it gets more iron, I'll go to three. I, I rarely go above three, you know. Um, and then if yeah, I want a little more depth. I go to 1.5 or two. You know, you know, uh, Dwayne was talking about the hot ground. I have, you know, there's some hotter ground close to me, and I've I've ran my reactivity up a little higher, and it handles that hotter ground a little bit better. I, I have noticed that. Wisco Detect brought up a good point. When you notch to 40, it also can help with the high MI, which is exactly true. So again, 40 is not a bad choice. But 24, I like 24 as well. You know, it just depends on what you're looking for and what that side is like. So uh, always glad to um, always glad to share this information. DC Diggins says, on a cleaner side, I normally run reactivity at 0.5, right? Well, you know, if you don't have a lot of iron and you're not dealing with it, heck, run that thing down to 0.5 or 1.0. And just take your time and you, you never know. You're going to hit a real good deep target for sure. So yeah, try it. You know, Prospector's Cash, I can't guarantee that it works on your ground. Um, but, but what I can say is it's worked for me. You can, you can go and look at the videos and see that it's, it's been pretty successful. Michael's seen me using these exact same settings and uh, he knows that um, it works pretty good on some of these beat up sites as well. So again, um, very, very nice. So glad to share this with you guys tonight. I hope this is helping somebody. Uh, if you are interested in these settings, uh, then please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here tonight, we're going to mention that. 
hit that subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate that. So let's go to our audio response. Again, if you really are looking for those deep targets, you can turn that audio response up. Totally up to you. I'm running it at four. Uh, sometimes I'll run it at five. But anyway, I run the audio response at four. And, um, you know, you can run it at five. I have run it at five. And it works really well. The threshold. I And you can... I, some of you guys may be able to hear this, but you can see I'm running the threshold at one right now. So um, I like hearing that sort of little hum. Threshold at one. Uh, you could run it to two. I don't like it really loud. I just like to hear sort of a little hum, especially on the beach. So if I'm doing beach hunting, I will definitely bump the threshold up uh, a little. That was my first setup. And again, all of that was based off of fast.